It happened in the neighborhood that I grew up in here in New York City, the Upper East Side, a place not generally thought of as having much, if any, violent crime going on. It's one of the safest areas, safest neighborhoods in all of New York City, and yet there was an execution-style killing there last night. A young woman, 20 years old, shot in the back of the head. It is believed uh, that, sh that her killer was an ex-boyfriend, the NYPD report, uh, telling reporters today that he had a history of threats and violence against her. She was supposed to meet with the father of her child on the street, and he came up behind her, allegedly, and killed her on the street. Um, this is the kind of crime that gets a lot of attention because of the heinousness of it. And it also is another uh, fatal shooting on the streets of New York at a time when the numbers are far too high. Now, we have gone through before this situation where there was far too much violence in the streets of New York, as well as many other cities across the country, Houston, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Portland, They're, they've all seen substantial rises and smaller cities like St. Louis and Birmingham and uh, Little Rock, uh, rises in violent crime. And the way we deal with this successfully is to actually start enforcing the laws in a meaningful way against the criminal element, against those in our society who are breaking the law. But that's not the plan that Democrats want to go with. Instead, their focus is on getting rid of and stopping the guns, as if there's any real hope, as if there's any realistic chance that they're going to pass more laws when you already have in places like New York very restrictive gun laws, but pass more laws elsewhere that stop people who are criminals from breaking those laws to use guns illegally in shootings like the tragic one that happened just last night in New York. Here is the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, at the scene of that shooting of the 20-year-old mother. This entire day, we have been addressing the problem of the overproliferation of guns on our street, how readily accessible they are, and how there is a just a no fear in using these guns on innocent uh, New Yorkers. When a mother's pushing, a baby carriage down the block or an individual, a woman is pushing a baby carriage down the block and is shot in point uh, blank range. It shows uh, just how uh, this national problem is impacting families. So he's focused on the guns instead of progressive prosecutors who will not bring the necessary cases with the severity uh, that is commensurate with the offenses, won't do that in New York City, won't do that in so many places across the country, um, and instead focuses on guns because this is more politically acceptable to him. As if New York, which has what they call a river of steel, or the steel pipeline that comes from a number of other states that have uh, more accessible firearms laws, people illegally sell those firearms, it's called a straw purchase, a violation of federal law. People legally sell those guns to individuals and then they take them across state lines and they use them in heinous crimes. This is something that I had not seen before in New York, but it might be something that becomes more common. In New York City, a gunman on a scooter in broad daylight, on a little scooter there, tried a, a drive-by scooter shooting. Actually tried to commit a murder via scooter shooting. You see it here. Nobody was hurt in this shooting, fortunately, but this just goes to show you that this is broad daylight, caught on camera. The criminal element does not have fear of police action. They think they're going to get away with this stuff, and unfortunately, in so many cases, they are. And this is because Democrat leadership in places like New York lack the political will to do what is necessary, which is lock up criminals and back the police.